Yeah, so this video is actually Thursday. I'm pre-recording it for Friday because I have plans tomorrow. So if anything happened last night and I don't talk about it today, it's because this video was not live. Or not live, but you know, current. Understand? All right, anyway, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Happy Friday. Today's video, we're just gonna hop back into Madden Online and play a good old fashioned exhibition game. Nothing too special here. We got about a month until Madden 23 comes out, which means this is all just gonna be a nice big grind for us. I swear, every game we're gonna play now is just gonna get more and more annoying and we're gonna grow less and less patient. One quick thing before we start the video, head over to gfuel.com, use code Wyatt's World, save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products. And let's hop into the video. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ultra quick announcement. Sorry, I'm in the middle of editing, but I almost forgot it. I didn't pick a jersey winner yet from Wednesday's video, I think it was. So I will give you guys one final extension through the weekend to follow my Twitter and tweet at me the hashtag Wyatt's World Jersey for a chance to win a free football jersey. Monday, I will open up the video by revealing the winner. Good luck to everybody. Also, you're gonna have to give me your address, guys. I'm not a creeper, but where am I supposed to send it? For those wondering why I'm saying that, because kids literally will be like, well, how do I know you're not trying to scam me? All right, so I feel like we should go look at my record. I just, I don't know what it is on PlayStation. 115 and 110. Granted, I've rage quit probably 35 to 40 games. That is still not the record I was hoping for. That means I'm not getting really better. I'm just the same player I always have been. You know what? We're going to be different this time. I'm going to watch it, and I'm going to try and stop it on a team that I want. Obviously, I'll use the team I get, but I want the Rams. Nah. Oh. Okay, so they're right after Green Bay. Now. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Now. Okay, I'm gonna nail this. Ready? No! Oh, yes! We're gonna beat some ass! Throw it deep, and we are playing against Miami. Oh, shit. Uh, probably defend the medium pass. Yeah, so I was cleaning out my closet yesterday because I just have, like, a ton of clothes that I don't wear anymore. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually almost, like, teared up a little bit when I threw this section of my closet out. I had about five or six shirts that I was just holding on to that I knew I would never wear again, but I didn't want to throw away. And the reason because is because they were shirts that I would wear in college, like, every weekend when I would go out, you know. And it was just kind of, you know, that big part of my life that I had and all that fun times that I had and I, I threw them away yesterday. I said I almost teared up. I didn't actually tear up, but it, it was sad. No, no, no. Yeah, that's what you get, you stupid fuck. To a turn to ball over. Big B! He's elite! Ah! <laughs> Scared the shit out of me, man. Big B! Get out of here, Zavin, bitch! Oh! So you guys want to know something that really pisses me off about Pokemon cards? And if you open cards, you'll know what I'm talking about. However, when you open a pack of Pokemon cards, you always get some of these. They're code cards that, you know, you can scan to play the online game. However, when you open the packs, the cards can either have a white border or a black border. What that means is if it's a black border, it's a hit. If it's a white border, that means it's nothing. There's no holographics or anything in there. Well, there can be a trainer gallery, but the rare is going to be garbage. My question or vent about it is why do they do that? Because it absolutely kills the pack. Nobody wants to open it and go, oh, yay, I'm not getting anything. Like, what the fuck? It would be like loading into a Madden game and it tells you if you're going to win or lose in the menu and then still deciding to play the game after you know you're going to lose. It makes no logical sense. I'm going to kick someone's ass today. I got a little spice in me, I can tell. Come here! Oh, I missed him, and now someone's wide open downfield. That literally almost just costed me a touchdown. What is this guy doing? These are the weirdest formations I've ever seen in my life. I mean, he's just taking off with Tua. This ought to be something fucking dumb. Von Biller, baby! That just made my dog get up off the couch and run into my room. I could hear him flapping his ears. He hates it when I fucking yell. I feel bad because, like, I'm never mad. I'm never yelling at him or anything. I'm just doing my job, and he doesn't understand it. He thinks his dad is an absolute psychopath. Sometimes I do chase my dog with the vacuum. I won't lie. I kind of torture him a little bit. What a dart! Whoever's on the edge with Odell is going to get absolutely destroyed. What chance did you think you stood? Yeah, it's coming. I'm entering bizarro mode. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, I don't know why he didn't juke there. That pissed me off. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Mickey Mouse, the commentator. Matt Stafford's gonna take a snap off, but it looks like it's gonna be a jet sweep to Cooper Cup. 
up. Oh, 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 we got the next play. Matt Stafford's going to take the snap. He's going to look through his progressions. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, he fires a pass and he's picked off. All right, I'm fucking done. I just Mickey Mouse myself into an interception. Such a bitch, dude. Here we go again. A Tua run. I'm sure of it. Nope. All right, asshole. You want to play some Madden? We'll play some Madden once. Come on. You're never going to get in. No! Good night, bitch. All right, this is a long-ass game, dude. Jesus. Now, I should get the ball first, correct? I made him fumble on the opening drive. All right, no more Mickey Mouse. Oh, -ho, maybe just once? No. Matt. Yikes! What? We'll just take that as an even push. How about that? Boys, I'm not playing too good right now. I gotta get my head out of my ass. Nothing like the good old play to make it happen, though, right? I got the big time Rush theme song stuck in my head, and he just got absolutely killed. Uh, uh, uh. Something, some, something, some, something, some. When you go big time. Isn't it weird? Like, when you can hear songs in your head, you know what words are in your head, but you can't say them. That's a mistake. Honestly, I just want a field goal out of this. I'm just playing like cheeks today, dude. I'm fucked. Yeah, I'll take the field goal, honest to God. That was perfect. Why can't it always be like that? Oh, good. We're going to have more of this outside two-yard pass bullshit. Nice, nice, nice! That was disrespectful. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Singing that all game and this bitch is gonna leave. He's had enough smoke. Ah! Let's go expose him. I guarantee you his record is trash because he was trash. Yeah, he wasn't good. All right, well, I don't want to leave you guys short, so we'll do some anger management. Uh, that looks about right. Hey, guys. Do you remember that time the Saints put the bounty on Brett Favre? Yes, yes, because I certainly haven't fucking forgotten about it either. Or how about that other time where the Saints, you know, were about to win the game and Sean Payton and Alvin Kamara were doing the skull chant and then in the last seven seconds or whatever it was, Case Keenum took a big fat shit down their throats! Or better yet, do you guys remember the time when Kirk Cousins marched into Mercedes-Benz Superdome as the biggest underdogs in postseason history and the Vikings fucking mutilated the Saints again? I haven't forgotten about it either. One more bomb should do it. I just took a sack of 16 yards, so. And that'll do it for today's anger management. All right, guys, that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you found fun with it, and I hope it was a great start to your weekend. If you guys did find joy in this, you know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe, turn that bell on. I do my absolute best to post every single day. With everything I just said, though, I'm going to hop off and edit this shit so you guys can watch it on time. Have a good one. Enjoy the weather. And as always, I will see you in the next video.